Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make Two and a Sims Free Play original design in This Is Your Town, Sims Peaks.、Mm -hmm. And this is a fire station. It's our version of a fire station. Obviously, in the game, there is already a fire station for careers. It's actually one of the very first career buildings that gets built in the game, I believe. Yeah, I think it's like really, really early on. It's maybe the first building you build. Yeah. But unlike the recent police and movie studio and hospital careers, you cannot yet, at the time of this recording, go into this fire station. And we used to have. Next to the fire station, our version of a hospital.、Mm -hmm. But then at the time of this recording, there's recently been an update to the game which added the hospital careers. And I just went ahead and deleted that hospital that we had designed for ourselves because we now have a real one. And I decided, well, take inspiration from that and why not build our own version of a fire station、mm -hmm. next to the actual fire station? That makes sense. And it's got broadly similar structure with a tower on the back left of the lot, but otherwise looks pretty different from the one in the game. And actually, this one we can go inside. Yeah. You've even got a fireman down there because, of course, we have the fire hydrant for practicing、yes. the career. Which you at buy、home. at the、mm -hmm. career and hobby store in town. So I've just dressed up my person as a firefighter as well. <sighs> oh, I was just looking at the double. Entries you've got there for the garage doors、mm -hmm. for the fire trucks to come out of. Yeah, so this house started life as the DIY model home, which is the prize for completing the basement quest in the time limit, and that is how I was able to get this special tile out front here as part of the patio tile. We've done that with a few other houses in our towns, which we've toured on the channel before, and it's just a bit expensive. It requires some maneuvering and manipulation of the special. Patio tile and balcony tile that comes with that DIY model home. But anyway, there she is in the driveway practicing and learning her trade as a firefighter. Cool. Now, of course, there is a dog <laughs> house here for the usual. I guess the、oh, traditional、really? dog that comes with a fire station is a Dalmatian. Okay. Is that、I、not a thing that. in the UK? I don't、UK? think so. No. It's a thing in the US, I think.、Okay. Yeah. And then here is a bench out front because whenever I pass by a fire station,、yeah. the guys are always sitting outside just、Drinking、watching. Drinking Coca Cola. Yeah, well,、Basically. watching the street, you know, <laughs> because there's a lot of downtime as a firefighter. That's true. If things are going well in your town, anyway,、mm -hmm. you know, you're not constantly being called on to put out fires. Hopefully, <laughs> if all is going well. Yeah. Anyway, you get into the garage area, and I'm just going to show what that looks like there, and. In the garage area, I've got water heaters and also water barrels. These are just sort of meant to stand in for, I guess, whatever you would have in a fire station for filling up water. You know, obviously、really、fire trucks. Pipe, I guess. Yeah. yeah, but you know, this is maybe a throwback to the original days of the fire station, and they used to have these barrels and things before they had fire hydrants. Yeah, and now I guess these three could be yeah, these could be standing water tanks which get filled up under high pressure from wherever. These things happen.、Mm -hmm. So then, very nice. You walk in through this set of glass doors here and get into this interior part of the fire station. And technically, this is yeah, actually、yeah. a another patio, and you'll see why in a second. Yeah,、so、it's actually an exterior room. Yeah, but it looks like it's interior. Yeah, because it's all covered over by a balcony to look like a roof、right. on the very top floor.、Yeah. So in、nice. this space, what we've got here is a workbench because I figure firefighters might need to do tinkering on the fire truck and do their own maintenance of the fire truck. Yeah. So it's meant to be like that, not exactly a woodworking bench, although it is a woodworking bench. But you know, like in Sims Free Play, usually you just gotta pretend that certain items are the items that you want them to be. Yeah. General maintenance area. That makes sense to me.、Mm -hmm. Some more sitting down space、yeah. with some music there. Okay, so through this open doorway, we've got the locker room where I imagine the firefighters' suits live. So、yep. when they're being called to action, they would just duck in here and put on their suits and then head out immediately here. So that's why they're right close to the garage area. And then through each open doorway is just a bathroom. One's for men and one is for women because in this town you've got both、mm -hmm. firefighters, men and women. Then over here is the office for, I guess, the fire chief. Is that the yeah, title of、chief. the guy? Yeah, 
All right, so he's got a nice little office here Very with nice. an old-fashioned desk like that. Through here is the kitchen, which services all the firefighters. So I don't technically think that firefighters these days have to live in the fire station anymore, but I have this idea that in Simtown, the firefighters will take maybe a, a few weeks or maybe a month or so where they stay at the fire station and they're kind of full-time, and then they go back home and okay. rotate with other firefighters who come in for a few weeks or a month or whatever. Yeah. So this fire station does have accommodation for people to stay and sleep and eat and cook and all of that. But Yeah, I think you definitely need somewhere for them to sleep because you'll have different shifts. Yeah. Because it needs to be manned 24 hours a day. Yeah. This, I think, is a very, very nice kitchen, mm. even for firefighters who stay in the fire station day in, day out. <laughs> Well, here is where they would all eat together. <laughs> so they don't do that much cooking. No, they don't do that much look cooking. Look at that table. There's got lots of pizza boxes on the table because firefighters have to be quick and ready and alert and prepared at all times. And so you'll see that in this room, for instance. This is what I would consider the recreation room for firefighters who are on duty. So there is nothing in here that the firefighters can't just put down if they want to. Like, yeah. you know... If they're playing Battleship with each other, they can just put that down really quickly. If they're playing Ping Pong, they can just put that down really quickly. And by the way, the Ping Pong table is a limited time item from the game from a while back. So if you don't have it, then unfortunately you just have to wait for the limited time event to come back around and give you a chance to win it again. And same goes for, I think, this urban furniture stuff right here. These couches and chairs were from another limited time event. So yeah, basically books, magazines, these are things that firefighters can put down if the alarm goes off and they have to run out and oh yeah same for the table and bar stools these were also limited time items yeah so if you come out here you have a bit of patio space and then just outdoor space for a grilling and a picnic table because i imagine like firefighters like to enjoy their outdoor time with each other as well yep. they're not only about working they're also bonding with each other they've got and they do some community things as well. So yes. maybe a local school kid or something would come around and they'd have a barbecue with a school class or something. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> All right. So then to get to the upstairs part of the fire station, you can take one of these poles here. This and maybe we'll... is the first time we have ever built stairs like that and they've been completely appropriate. I often put them in my build and you're like... <laughs> That's the wrong, you should put in proper stairs, you shouldn't put in the fire pole. I'm like, yeah, but it fits and I haven't got any other room. But in this building, it's entirely appropriate to have yeah. the stairs with poles. I'm actually kind of excited to be able to use fire poles for what they're actually <laughs> yeah. meant to be for. But yeah, you're right, staircases take up a lot of room. So upstairs we've got this overhanging balcony, and you know the way I got that, again, is because... This is technically an outdoor space downstairs. This is a patio, so that's why you can have a balcony overlooking the patio. But technically, because there's this balcony here, it's all indoors. So this is more of a mezzanine rather than a balcony. And what we've got here are the places where the firefighters will sleep. So there's one Gosh. for men here. There are four male firefighters if they're fully staffed, and four female firefighters if they're fully staffed. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then over here is one of the bathrooms for either men or women, and so you've got a setup here with a couple of these also limited edition sinks. And then toilets here divided by a privacy screen. And then over here the showers and wardrobe. And changing. Yeah, that's a cool idea. So this stuff is more, I would say, private than the bathrooms that are downstairs. These are just for, you know, quick use and then the ones yeah. up here are for actually like getting clean and all of that. <laughs> and then over here there's another one for the men or women, whoever. And it's just basically the same structure as the other one. Mm -hmm. And then over here is a recreation room and this is what I would consider the off-duty recreation room. So this is for firefighters who are not on shift. If there's an alarm going off, they won't be the first people to respond to the alarm. It'll be the people who are downstairs. So the firefighters up here, they can indulge themselves with games of charades or foosball or just watching TV, watching a movie together, chess, that kind of thing, arcade machine, which cool. I can't remember where I got this from. Maybe from unlocking uh, the arcade on the island yeah, or something I, like that. I can't remember either. Yeah. 
And then, okay, yeah, yeah like over here, here is a this is cool. sort of gym workout area because firefighters have to keep strong. <laughs> Technically, this martial arts thing is for preteens only, but I thought it would be a cool thing to have in addition to the exercise bike, which is a prize for completing the seniors' quest and these weights, which are just unlocked at a certain level, I think. And then there's also a couple of computers for firefighters to check their email and a stereo for music when people are working out. <laughs> Very nice. And then... Oh, then there's access from that upper rec room Yeah. up to the roof. Technically, I would have loved for there to be another fire pole or something like that inside, but I just couldn't find a good place yeah. to put it. Like, the only staircase, because this is a tower, the only staircase access I would have wanted would be for it to be either inside the tower or right outside the tower the way I've done this. And anyway, this is just another recreation room, but this is for the firefighters who are <laughs> really, really off duty. So, so there's no way that he, if there's like an emergency, the ones on the second floor would have to use the fire poles to mm -hmm. get on, even if they're not on duty. Guys up here, they don't even hear the alarm. They do hear they're the alarm. They're just having their party and drinking yeah, their drinks. They're, this is where they come to <laughs> unwind and drink and play the jukebox or do yeah. karaoke with a microphone or something like that. And That being said, I don't know why fire stations have towers. Um... I mean, they don't have to, do they? Yeah, but they often do. Do they? I think I, I did look at a lot of designs for fire stations before building this one, and I just decided why not go with the one that the game already provides us. But there are different kinds okay. of designs, and not all of them have towers. And actually, the one in the game over here has, I think it's like a water tower, like another uh, water supply, but that, yeah, there wasn't like anything. -like thing. Yeah, there wasn't anything in the home store that. I felt like could look like that, even okay. pretend, so I just decided to keep this empty space and keep it clean and looking more like a roof. Mm -hmm. And then over here are just basketball hoops. I think, again, they're just a limited time item, and unfortunately if you want them, you've got to wait for the same event to come back around to the game. And there's also, you know, soccer, football, which is just from the hobby and career store, same mm -hmm. place that we got the fire hydrant. So it seems that this fire station is very much built for fun and recreation, but there is still a little bit of area right outside on the first floor and just in the open area where business gets done. There's like three rooms for business, everything else is for cleaning, cooking, eating and having fun. Well, I think that's a good balance. I think all the firefighters are about business, it's just that you don't want them to be only about business yeah. and they have very stressful jobs so you want them to be able to take some time to unwind and bond with each other when they get back it's true okay she is going to go down the pole yay she's going she's <laughs> been called out to rescue a cat in a tree <laughs> yes that'll be fun hopefully that's all she's got to do yeah <laughs> so hopefully also you guys enjoyed this tour Please let us know in the comments what you think, and if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Freeplay videos on the way. Thanks for watching!